Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Forever Stranded. I am Sly Slime and I'm here at my trusty reactor, which is not doing the job properly. It's, uh... Yeah. Out of power, it doesn't store any power internally. It's running at 239 ARFs per tick. And we're eating it all up quicker than we can use it. So, yeah. There's that. We need to deal with that. Uh, we are getting some redstone now. So what I'm thinking is, to this episode, we'll, uh, we'll make a bigger one. Of course we'll make a bigger one. Because why not? So we're gonna need a few things. Uh, one of the things is we're gonna make a, uh, what is, 5x5 five five one? So it will be a fuel rod in the center, a, a sort of 3x3 three three grid around it with, uh, coolant, and then the frame. Now we're going to need a lot of these reactor casings and stuff, but we're also going to need a coolant. That coolant is going to be something... What the... Are you... are you like humping me from behind here? Is that... is that what we're... Okay. Alright, okay. So, what we need is a magma crucible. We need a magma crucible to generate this coolant because the coolant is going to be destabilized, redstone. Now these are inver gears, redstone reception coil, conductance coil. Uh, these are electrum ingots, so that's not, it's not a big deal. Uh, these are gold ingots, that's also not a big deal. Invar is nickel and iron. Am I getting nickel? Tin or... Broken nickel ore. We have 17 stacks, a little bit plus of that, so that should be good. Let's do that. So let's make a stack of... A stack of that. Good. That was easier than expected. In you go. So we go over to the alloy smelter again, which is my favorite machine in all of this. We put this to alloys only. Throw that in, throw these in. That's maybe a bit on the excessive side. Make 15 of them. Alright, okay, so now we can make our Inver gears. This type though. Make two of those. So that's good. We need nether bricks. We can alloy smelt nether sludge, which we're not, not that. Um, Another wreck, though, we can get somehow. Barrel crafted, right, redstone into lava. Right, let's uh, do that real quick. Alright, now we got those. That's eight of them. Back over here. Throw them in here. That doesn't work because this is in alloy mode. So, all smelting. Eight of you. Because that. Ta da! Alright. Actually, why not start putting this together here? It's this, and it's this. And we can use this crafting table for that. We also need a machine frame, which is a tin gear, glass, and iron. I don't have enough glass. Well, that's easily sorted, but we also need a tin gear, which is also easily sorted. All the things are easy today. Tin ingots. Nice. So, this, for this, and this. <sighs> Whatever. It's it's an iron thing in the center, and there's tin around it. Let's just do that. It's easier. And then the rest should fill in. Perfect. Alright, and then all we have remaining is this redstone reception coil, which is two redstone and one gold. And then this redstone conductance coil, which is an electrum ingot and two redstone. So we need four redstone, one gold. Three, four. Uh, one gold ingot. And an electrum ingot, which is gold and silver. So we're gonna grab another gold, and we have silver over here. Let's go over here. Grab the rest of our glass, put this into alloy mode. One of these... where's the silver? There, one of them. Smelt it up, two electrum. And... we are... 
not quite good go, we need to go over to the other crafting table where we can actually use these things to make the coils. One of you. One of you. And we're done. Now. Over to our little crafting table over here, we have a setup and make a magma crystal. Ta-da! This needs to go on a power line somewhere. We're running really low on space around here, and I don't want to cover up this angle. So I guess we'll put you over here. And slowly getting a tiny bit of power. So it's something. Alright. So. We want to make destabilized redstone. We're going to take redstone and... Oh god, okay, oh no. <laughs> Let's just do this then. We're going to take redstone blocks and put them in here. Uh, right, it's actually getting a fair bit. So this is 10 buckets. I have no idea how long time it actually takes. Or how much we get, for that matter. We get 900 millibrickets from a block. So it's uh, 100 millibrickets per dust, essentially. And this is... This is pretty slow. <laughs> pretty slow. So, yeah. Alright, reactor casings, we're gonna need a whole bunch. This, which is just graphite and iron, around a core, which is more graphite, iron, and uh, redstone and gold. See, we needed that right away. So, I guess... We should just be making a whole bunch of these, which probably means we should just be making more iron. We can grab four of these right now and just make the... Hello? Make this, like this, into these, and then just smelt those to get even more iron, because we're going to use up a whole boatload of iron this time. Put some of those away, though. That should be okay. We're going to want a bunch of gold, so let's grab a stack of that. A bunch of redstone, let's grab a stack of that. Where's my graphite? It's up here. 61 of those. Let's just... I guess I'll put one in here again. Nope, too late. We got filled with stones. Whatever, whatever. That's fine. Now, if I have calculated this right... Compressed creeper. Fell from a high place, I guess, means it ended up here and dropped a bunch of nitre. Alright, uh, now I don't want that. Don't want to just put everything in here now, because that will take away all the things I just painstakingly took out. But we can put this away. Yes, let's do that. Actually, let's put this just in watering can away too. Why not? Alright, so... Why do I keep going over there? I don't need to be over there. Um, we need, if I calculated things right, 44, at least 44 of these reactor casings. Which means we need 22 of these reactor casing cores. So, I guess we'll make 22 of these. Quickly using up our, our resources here, but, you know, it'll be okay. But we need more iron already. These are nickel, these are inver, they look almost the same. We have 23 of those right now, we have three stacks of these. I guess we can just use whatever we have. That's 48. It'll be okay, we probably have... We might not have some of the middle one. Because uh, we are currently only auto-sifting the dust and the gravel. We don't, we aren't sifting sand, because otherwise we'd get this broken stuff. Which we we have some... Why is there two iron ore in there? And why is there... Now there's broken lead ore there. Oh, because we are... Oh, dang. Okay, uh, hold, hold off. <laughs> okay, we are running out of space in all of these things. Dang. Alright, we have a problem. We have a big problem. And that's getting stuck in here. How does the other one look? This one is... okay, no. Alright, but we have a problem. Uh, we're trying to solve that with an ME system. 
It's just that that's taking a lot of power, and so we are doing all of this roundabout stuff. Anyway, iron. We got more iron. Which means now... Oh, we get four per each one. So I made way too many of those, so that's great. So we can make 16 of those before we run out of graphite. That's the next problem. Let's grab a stack of these. Smelt them up. And through the magic of video editing, that is just done. And now let's make more of these. So we have 16, that's 20, 24. We needed 44 of those, is what I said. Probably actually want to fill in the floor with these two, so that's nine more. And honestly, I don't know if we just want to cover it up. The only the other thing we can use is reactor glass. I have some of it. Oh, we still need a casing. So we'll need a casing for that. So we'll need nine times five for that. So that's 45 more. Okay, we need 45 more. So we need... Okay. We're just gonna... That's 36 more. We're gonna need more. More of the things. We're out of graphite again. Woohoo! Graphite! Graphite has been done. Let's go back over here. Do we want to... well, I guess we make the last two rounds of these we can make. That is not going to be sufficient. We needed 90-something for this. Is just, this is just 88. Eight more of these. So now we have one and a half stacks of that. That's probably not sufficient either. <laughs> but we do have some of this. The problem is I don't know how it works to shut this down. Because as soon as we shut this down, the entire system is going to... Yeah, this thing is going to stop working. Everything we have is going to stop working immediately. Which means we get no new stuff from any of this. Well, these are going to keep working, but they produce way too little power for this. So, I mean, I have most of the components in this thing. But yeah. It's a bit problematic. We're about to hit another... What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to go over here. Uh, we are going to eject the fuel. Rip fuel. Now we're down to this. And yeah, it's going to use up the last little bits of fuel here and hopefully deplete that. And then I think hopefully you can take that down without a problem. Now we are on our own though. This I apparently didn't have a thing for. I thought I did. Now it can go in there. We have more yellorium in here. We have more, we have Yellorium like all over the place. We have some in here too. Like 51 of those. That's good. <laughs> it's gonna keep us going for a bit. We need the reactor up though. Somewhere I also put another bunch of this reactor stuff. I know I have another access port and I have another. Uh, not here though. So did I put it in here? Okay, so we have another access port. We have a flux power tap. Don't really need two power taps. Uh, but I thought I had the reactor glass somewhere. Not in here. It's like we have reactor glass in one of these chests somewhere. Okay, I found a fuel rod and two reactor glass. So that's good. We're gonna need one more fuel rod though. I guess we'll get to that. We'll get to that when, when it starts becoming a problem. This thing is going to have to go. So if we deactivate, we'll break this apart. It gives us a few more of these blocks and including the controls and stuff that we need. And then we're going to build it all back up again. New improved. Where are all these? Why am I not picking them up? There we go. And I'm thinking I'm just going to ignore the way it looked before. I guess put those on, pick the power power tap back up. So what we need is a five by five. I guess we can we can start by laying that out like this. It'll be a little bit tight around here. That'll be fine. One, two, three, four, five. Oh boy, uh, that looks very dark to me. Let's see, F seven. Yep, too dark. Just put that there. That should be all good. It was not all good. The, can't put it here. So we'll put that there. That'll be fine. 
All right, and this we have no reason to not just fill in. This is going to be, as you can see, a fair bit bigger. One, two, three, four, five. This is where we want to be. Oh, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on a second. All right. <laughs> Things that go bounds in the night are not always a benefit. <laughs> Wow. Three, four, five. Bounce, bounce. It might be cool to have like one side of glass. That could be cool. Because we can spare a little bit of, of glass here. It's not like a big deal. So let's maybe make some reactor glass without flesh. So for that, we need nine. So we'll end up with 10, I guess. Because I click, click many times. Um, so we'll put glass on this side. Reactor glass goes here. All right, cool. And then why not? We'll just make that side too. This side is going to have a bunch of controls on it and stuff. So uh, we might not want to make that one, but so not the flesh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put that there. That's enough for this whole side. This is going to be a big problem, isn't it? Because I did not get enough coolant in this thing. Uh, this has six buckets, so that's that doesn't even cover... Because I think you have to put down... It's not enough with fluid, fluid thing. I think it's blocks that count, which means that this is going to be a problem. Oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that problem. It, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So apparently this is where we want our power tap, because that's right there. It would be kind of nice to have the controller right here this time. So reactor controller goes right there. We're going to control it from there, and we're going to put the, not the access port, the flux power tap. Up we go right there so now we have that connecting to there that will be good uh, so right on the output and then we want to we want this and we want our second one which is here we want one input and one output and for symmetry's sake and to just keep it a little bit out of the way let's just put it up here like that and now we have the rest of this which i guess we can just we'll just cover up with the solid stuff there. All right, so what we have remaining is we need a fuel rod in here. One, two, and then more. So one more. We Reactor fuel rod is graphite. That's not a problem. That should be good enough. Now we need we need nine more, so we have one spare reactor casing. That was actually that turned out perfect. But what we need is the the coolant, and that's coming from this thing, which oh, it does have power. We just need more redstone, which might be a big problem because we're no longer efficiently sifting this stuff. Oh god damn it! Why does it double take like that? Oh, that is so annoying. Can we throw this in directly? Yeah, we can. It doesn't have to be blocks. And since we only got nine of every block anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't, it isn't a problem. All right. Do I have a bucket somewhere? I have five buckets right here. So we should be able to just take, uh, no, we're going to have to pump this, I guess. Now, uh, put that there. It looked like the output was on there already. Good. We can grab one of you. All right, destabilized redstone, a whole bunch. So each of these layers has eight, and I think we need all three layers. Hold on, I'm gonna find that out. It does appear that this reactor only you only need to put down a top layer, which means that we're not that far off. So we can put down. Can I? No. Take away those. 
put these three on our bar. Let's put down these as well. So we need that was five. We need three more. Uh, what's this? We're almost there. Almost there. We're very close. So we can grab this, and we can grab that, and now we have 900 middle backers, and this is out of power, and you just completed. Awesome! That's exactly what we needed. Things are working out stellar today, indeed. So, one goes there, one goes there, and the last goes here. There we go, that all stabilizes, so that's, that's a good sign. It's a good sign indeed. Do we want to make it? Yeah, we want, we want glass, don't we? Don't we? Yeah, we want glass. Oh! Oh, look! Okay, we had significantly more of this stuff than I thought. Okay. Now we'll grab eight more of these. And then I guess we'll save this stuff. And this should complete this whole thing. And we should be able to kick it into gear. Which will be very nice. There we go. That does it. And we have the control rod up here that we can control the heat with, so yes. All looking good. Now, Yellorium. Uh, one of this is going to be an input, one of this is going to be an output. Let's uh, put this one as the outlet, this one as the input, doesn't really matter. Let's dump in a couple of these. How does that look? <laughs> so little. Um, more fuel. Let's just pile on the fuel. That looks better. Put one more in, I guess. What happens if we... Yeah, so then the rest just stay there, which is perfectly fine. So we'll just leave them in there. And it's time to activate this reactor. There we go. This is actually building up. We're over a thousand RF per tick. And we're building up a buffer. We have the power we need for the moment, at least. But we don't have the storage, because now everything is ending up everywhere in the system, because we're running out of space quickly. I really do need redstone in one of these drawers, though. I really, really do need redstone. So, and I need... I need... Okay, we don't need industrial hemp fiber, so we'll do that. And we'll just put the redstone in there. And these will... We'll live with these outside for now. I don't even know where we were in the in the the ME system quests. We did the power one. We're looking at basic A. Yeah, we're doing an ME chest. That's what we're doing, and that's that takes a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, because the ME chest is we have the glass cables. We have these. Uh, it's the terminal which requires these logic processors and stuff. That's what it is. In the inscriber, we need a printed logic circuit, and we are going to need a whole bunch of these. Which means we need silicon and advanced circuits, and advanced circuits are these. We're going to run out of redstone. First, we need these insulated copper wires and iron plates and redstone, though. Alright, so we have six of those. Bunch of these. Need redstone. Alright, so let's make... We can make four of those. That's terrible, but okay. And then uh, this requires glowstone and lapis as well. We have lots of lapis. Should have plenty of glowstone. Not as much, but enough for, for these purposes. So with these we can make four advanced circuits. And cover up our entire inventory. So, for advanced circuits, now let's look again at this printed log logic circuit. We need silicon. Right. Do we have that? We should really have that, but I don't know from what. Let's see if we can access stuff down here. That's the battery. This is the stuff I'm looking for. Take this out. Can I? This is compressed sand. This is different compressed sand. This is extra utilities to compressed sand. How do you... Uh, okay. So we need to... Okay, so hold on. 
If we just sag mill, sag mill up a bunch of sand then. Okay, that did produce some silicon. We can keep going, I guess. Because why not? There, and now we can pick these up. Alright, okay, so... Let's start over. ME chest. To make the ME chest, we need the terminal for that. We need the logic processor, and that needs a printed logic, and that has that. Redstone and gold. We need redstone and gold. And I am... Um, we're so out of out of space in our inventory, it's not even funny. I guess let's put the nickel in here and then we're out of space again. And I don't want to be making more of these drawers. Arg! Let's just put all of these ingots in here, I guess. Dang! That's annoying. Okay, redstone, we have a stack again. And it keeps disappearing, so... Not that many gold ingots, we can easily make tons more though. Because this gold ore is, we have eight stacks of that, plus whatever, many, and probably a whole bunch of gold dust, the three stacks of that too, so yes. You can make tons of that. Uh, for the thermal logic processor printed, this, make a logic circuit. Nice. Now, also for this, we need a printed silicon one, which is, we need conduit binders, redstone, and skystone dust. We have the dust down here. Oh. Did we only have two of those? No way! Okay, that that is a good reason to be sifting sifting more sand, I guess. We must have had more than that. Okay, we have seven over here. Ooh, that is gonna be a problem, isn't it? Alright, so now we have a printed circuit and we have a printed logic circuit. These can now all go in here, in the inscriber, that goes there, that goes there, this goes here, things happen, and we get a logic processor. Nice! A first piece of that, and that's a fairly complicated process then. Now the problem is we need a whole bunch more, because this needs a terminal, which needs a panel, and it also needs a formation core and an annihilation core. So formation cores are, look at that, another logic processor. And then there's also the thing where we need an annihilation core, which is, look at that, another logic processor. So we need two more of those. And then we also need the panel, which is easier. So, I mean, we're, we're closer, but we are not quite there yet. Flux dust is sag milling a flux crystal. Yeah, we're gonna need two of these, so let's just grab two of these right away. Oh, lag spike. Let's go and have a bit of a sagging of these. More silicon. All right, this is... Okay, good. We got one each. Because <laughs> from the sand, we definitely didn't get one for each one. All right, let's get rid of those again. And get rid of these and these. And more silicon. Good! Okay, now. Core. Oh wow, these are fancy. Very fancy. Uh, but they're not what we need. We need these. Uh, so, this. Oh, right, because I put stuff back in the system, of course. So, we do have quartz. Six of those, so we grab one of those, and then we have a bunch of these, so we'll grab one of those too. And now we can make one recipe of these, one recipe of these, and we're getting closer, ever closer. So we have the Felix Kristen iron ingots, we... Alright, wait, first, first we need to put this together. There we go, so now we have that panel. Uh, glass and glass cables. Okay, look, look, look. We made ourselves an ME chest. Whoo, that is so good. That is so good. Now we need a 1K storage cell. Uh, and then we have our first little piece of our ME system, which is going to be amazing. 
So 1K storage cell is the 1K storage component and, and all of this stuff. Or housing, which is that stuff anyway. So, I mean, basically, we need a bunch of small things and then this, which is another logic coprocessor, four crystals and four redstone. That's... We have this... It's actually pretty doable, isn't it? Content binder get, let's go, make that, let's run over to our little ME thing over here. Put that in, that in, that in. Things are happening. This, that, go. 1k storage component, get. We are one redstone short. Give me that, come here. Better than chests. Better than chests. Basic AE has been completed. Take a look at this. This contains a lifeblood crystal. Mm -mm -mm, get me the stuff. And then that's... Oh my god. Uh, let's see. This is not the fake thing. <laughs> Tough as nails. We have a heart, ladies and gentlemen. And that is the perfect ending for another episode of Forever Stranded. I'm so happy we didn't get to the point where we made pants. Doesn't matter. We are so good on things now and we're getting just about to the point where we have a good storage system. I can tear down all of this junk behind me. Wow. That system is becoming so overloaded that it's kind of not even useful anymore. We're so close. We're getting there. We have power. We have materials. We have an ME chest. We have a 1K storage cell. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I am Slice Lime, and I'll see you next time. Take care.